With the frame and the main arms built, it was time to figure out the motor situation. First we would need a place to mount the motor. We decided to build a really simple shelf out of 2x4s. We basically just cut a small piece of 2x4 and a small piece of plywood and attach some L brackets. This got mounted onto the main frame. And the plywood screwed down to the 2x4. This was needed because the motor is kind of a weird shape. Now you can see the motor fits perfectly in place. We just needed a way to secure the motor to the shelf. We decided to just use plumber's tape. It's not ideal, but it works. Next we had to figure out how to hook up the motor to the bicycle wheel. We bought this small bicycle sprocket from a local bike shop. Now we just had to figure out how to mount this to the motor. So I lined it up on a block of wood and marked three holes and the inside hole. Then I drilled out all the small holes for mounting and shaped the wood so it wouldn't interfere with the gears. After screwing it in place, this is what I ended up with. Next I just eyeballed it and drilled a large hole for an axle. I used a piece of 3 8 inch threaded rod. All I had to do was slide this in place and secure it with a couple nuts. I ended up later replacing this with a smaller bolt, but it's the same basic principle. So we just slip this into the chuck and then hook up the chain. Now we just had to give it a test. It totally works. It's alive! Oh my god. Holy shit. What was that? <laughs> oh my god. That's fast, man. That's going good. And that wasn't even top speed, was it? No. That, that didn't even work close. Now we just need to figure out how to hold the pumpkin and release it on command. If you enjoyed this video, please like or subscribe to let me know.